While it's amazing to get real world experience outside the classroom, there are still some pretty cool things going on inside the classroom after the bell rings. You've, you've heard about soccer, obviously, but what about drone soccer? It's, it's almost like Quidditch from Harry Potter, but a much cooler version that combines aerospace tech with soccer skills. It's basically taking soccer to the sky. We have to visit a California school that is putting this up and coming sport on the map, and we even got to try it for ourselves, and it is not as easy as it looks. In the world of high school sports, a new game is taking off. At the Santo Academy of Math and Science in Long Beach, California, it's not football or basketball that's churning out their star athletes. It's drone soccer. I love my team, and I just love this club so much. Albert Gallo, Sato's aerospace engineering teacher, Take off. piloted the idea to bring drone soccer to Sato, and he now doubles as coach for three of the top teams in the country. Does this seem like a game or kind of a lesson plan, or, or maybe a little bit of both? I think it's a little bit, bit of both. They've gamified aerospace, where they've taken all the things that I love about aerospace, and they've taken everything about drones, and they've, they've found a way to make it fun for kids. Here's how it works. Two teams of five drones each compete in three-minute sets, where the striker tries to score by passing through suspended hoops, while defenders try to block them. Drone soccer is very similar to put it. But instead of you guys flying around on the broomsticks, you guys are the drones. Yes. Yeah. You don't kick the ball, no. you are the ball. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> Look at that. And each student is also responsible for fixing drones when they go down. So that's the battle damage you just got, right? Yeah, one of them fell off. Okay. Was that from, was that from contact. A contact, huh? And it looks easy, but I promise it is not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna give you a drone that's a, a little bit slower. Slower, huh? Just, uh, just for a beginning, okay. starting off. All right. Yeah. After a whole lot of turbulence, ah! and some tips from the pros, I finally scored yeah! <laughs> on an undefended goal. We got one! I don't understand how you guys kept all of those up. I mean, it is like magic. It's a magic. <laughs> Thank you. That magic on display every time Sato competes, almost always droning out the competition. It sounds like this school is somewhat of a powerhouse when it comes to drone soccer. But what's the secret? A, a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah. It has been a lot of rigorous practice. Sato has taken first in every competition they've entered. Competing with other awesome teams, it, it kind of helps develop new strategies and get better and makes the long hours worth it. And here, there's no boys team or girls team. Drones don't have a gender. It seems like girls and boys in this program, it seems like everybody's on the same level. They're pretty much on the same level now. U.S. Drone Soccer promotes that they would like one female pilot to be on every team. Our requirement here for our program is 50-50. If you're wondering whose drone that was, it just kept dominating over there. That was Audrey over here. What was the secret to your success? What I like to do is kind of mix up different flight paths each time and find different routes to get around to get into the goal without causing too much damage. We're doing something pretty out of the ordinary and pretty advanced right now with drone soccer and I think that's definitely kind of like our stepping stone. This is just the beginning. Yeah. Definitely. And that means that you guys are the pioneers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Young pioneers propelling their way to greatness one high flying battle at a time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.